Hey guys, how's it going? Hope everybody's doing well out there today. In this video, I wanna show you how to turn a Docker command into a Docker Compose using your own local Docker server. But first, a quick message from today's video sponsor. YourCDKey.com is a great place to get Windows 10 keys at incredibly low prices. So here we are on the Microsoft Windows 10 Pro page, and right here you can see the current price is $20.05. But if you use the coupon code that's in the description down below, you'll get it even cheaper. So I'm gonna go ahead and paste that in here and click apply. And now our new total for Windows 10 Pro is about 15 bucks. Now I have the option to go ahead and view the keys right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. Then I'll click on get the key. And then I'm gonna come over here and right there you can change the product key. So go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna go ahead and change the product key right here. So I've entered my key and I'll click next. Then I'll click on activate. And here we can see that Windows is activated. Next, what we wanna do is go ahead and validate the key installation. And right there, you can see that Windows 10 Professional Edition is permanently activated. So head on over to yourcdkey.com to get your next Windows 10 Pro key at ridiculously low prices. So for a long time, I've been using this service called Composerize, uh, where basically you can take uh, a Docker command that you might get from uh, from a GitHub page or or a, a hub.docker.com page. Um, in fact, I ran into this a couple of times while doing some research for an upcoming video, uh, where you know I ran into this Docker command and 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 this Docker command right here and composerize.com is great, but um, if that service goes away, then then it's not available anymore and I don't have the, the ability to just run a quick command and make this happen. But luckily, uh, what I noticed is if you come up here to the top right-hand corner of the page, uh, you can click on uh, one of those icons up there. And he's actually got a little uh, tutorial here on how to do that. Um, and that's what I wanna show you how to do today uh, is, is get Composerize set up on your local Docker server so that you can convert Docker commands into Docker Compose files that you can use in in, uh, in the terminal or in Portainer or wherever you like to deploy your Docker containers. So let's take a quick look at how to do that. Um, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is actually minimize that screen and I'm gonna close that screen. And then I'm gonna bring up my terminal window here Okay, so here I am logged into my Studio Lab setup here. The first thing we need to do if we don't already have it done is install uh, Node Package Manager, otherwise known as NPM. I know that when we talk about NPM uh, and Docker, very often we're talking about Nginx Proxy Manager. In this case though, uh, and it's messed with me since I learned about Nginx Proxy Manager, uh, NPM in this particular instance is Node Package Manager. So what we're gonna do is just paste that in there and click enter. Then it's going to go through and download and install all of the dependencies that Nginx or that Node, see I did it right there, that Node Package Manager needs in order to run. There we go. Now we've got uh, Node Package Manager up and running. Um, you you may be asked at some point, hey, are you sure you want to do this uh, during that process? Just click uh, yes or Y and enter or just enter. Uh, I believe that, that it should show up with a capital Y. I'm not sure why it didn't on me this time. It has in the past. Anyway, make sure you just agree that yes, you want to install all of that stuff. So it's npm node package manager install composerize dash g, which just means install it globally. So we'll hit enter. So now it's gonna go through and pull again, everything it needs in order to get composerize up and running. Um, we're gonna run into some issues here, but uh, we should we should be good to go at this point. So let's, uh, let's actually grab uh, something down here. Uh, so basically what we're going to do is, so our command will be uh, composerize space and then whatever our Docker command is. So I'm going to paste this in here. So we've got composerize Docker run, detached, name is tiny pen, port 3030, um, and then we've got a volume for the data, and then restart unless stopped, and then our uh, our image URL or our image name. I'm going to go ahead and enter, and right there, there we go. So now we have our Docker compose file there that we can then copy. Uh, I just right clicked there. Um, so then what I'll do is just to uh, just to make this a little easier. I, I know I'm using Notepad. I had somebody actually uh, kind of call me out on that the other day for using Notepad. Instead of something like Notepad++, sometimes Notepad just works for me. So there we go. I'm just going to paste that in there. Now, you can leave it like this. I feel like... I feel like there are too many spaces here, but this works. Uh, the one thing that you do want to do here, of course, is actually change this root slash data to wherever you want to actually map your uh, your your local volume, whether again it's a mapped volume or a Docker volume or whatever the case is. Uh, you'll want to make sure that you change your volume here to be uh, the actual volume that you want to use for your setup. Um, so that's just one example there. 
Uh, let's let's run another one just for the sake of testing. Do control L to clear my screen there. And then I've got another command down here uh, that I'll just uh, right click and hit enter. And there again, it's done it. Uh, this time it didn't actually give us anything in our volume there. But again, I'm just using my mouse to left click, highlight, uh, and then right click to copy, um, and then paste that in there. And of course, again, in this case, you know, path to your uh, volume. Of course, wherever that volume happens to be, that's what you would put in there, but that's just an example. So anytime you get a, a Docker command versus a Docker compose, uh, now you've got uh, basically your own little version of Composerize in your terminal on your Docker server where you can convert those Docker commands to Docker composes and deploy them you know, in Portainer or in a Docker compose.yml file, however you wanna do it. Now you've got the tools at your disposal to convert that locally versus depending on a third-party website. So hopefully you found this video helpful. If you did, do me a favor, give the video a thumbs up really does help me out quite a bit. If you've got questions or anything, let me know in the comment section down below. If you'd like to support the channel, there are some ways you can do that in the description uh, where you'll also find links to everything you'll need to do this as well. So with all that being said, I am going to go ahead and wrap this up. So as always, thanks for your time. I always appreciate your support. And I'll talk to you in the next video.